Assalamu alaikum guys, how are you doing? I'm going with that very painful, very hard thought. There are people that are, most of the people that are teaching faith and trying to give guidings in how to serve Hashem, those people don't have a clear and complete faith in miracles, in the real supervision of the Creator, that He can create reality, that He is the Creator of the world, that He is Bore Olam, He is creating the world. So now those people are also trapped under the low understanding of force of nature and they think that nature controls the world and that politics control the world and that there is some existence to the physical aspect of life except of to be the the tools that Hashem Himself is using to guide us and to teach us and to heal us and to bring us to our redemption. But when we're talking about redemption, when we're talking about our salvation as a nation and as children of the Creator, all human race and the wide world, we're talking about the third temple that made out of fire that will come down from heaven, that will bring peace between all nations, that will cancel arguments and fights and, and hatred and, and poverty and sickness from the world. We're talking about the Creator revealing His face to His people, to the believers and to all of those people that think that they are prophets or I don't know what, that they can tell us what will happen in the future. The war already took place. Don't you remember the Holocaust? Don't you remember all the exiles? Don't you remember all the wars? Don't, don't you remember all the blood of the last more than 2,000 years? Don't you remember that? Don't you realize that it's time for a complete redemption above nature? And that's it, the end of the story? That's very painful for me. People don't get that. People are still, I don't know what, sick, crazy, thirsty for blood. That's it, the war is over. Now we're in a spiritual process of building ourselves and climbing above nature and reaching to those places that we yearned for, for the last thousands of years. And the miracles that we will experience and we will have in the third temple, in the last redemption, will be greater than the miracles that we experienced in Egypt more than 3,000 years ago. Miracles that will make us almost forget the wonders that Hashem made with us in Egypt, that He opened the sea and fed us and gave us food in the desert and water when we were thirsty. All of those things will be small compared to the ones that we will see, the miracles that we are about to experience and to witness. So I don't know what to tell you except of you're more than welcome to join me to find those wonders and to see the miracles of Hashem and I hope that everyone will wake up and will be sober from that deep, deep sleep of thinking that nature has some kind of power and control on our lives. We are above nature and the Creator is above nature and that's why we'll have complete miracles and wonders. Soon you'll see. It's just a temporary world that in this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator, to remember that it's all Him, never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those husks.